Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I did a thing. <laughs> I got myself a beanbag chair, right? So we're going to go ahead and do a beanbag reading. Yes, guys, I am showing my face on YouTube, okay, which is something that, uh, you know, I'm not comfortable with it because um, I'm really shy, but I'm being led to do it, and I figured um, the best way to do it is to be absolutely comfortable, and I, so I picked this really cozy spot in the house, right, and uh, I created like a little, like a little hippie spot. So I like my hippie spot, all right, and I'm comfy in this beanbag chair. So I figured I'm probably the only reader out here who does beanbag readings, but we're going to start doing them. What do you think, right? Anyway, Cancers, yeah, I am showing my face, so please go easy on me. <laughs> um, but I am here to give you guys a bonus read and to test out my new beanbag chair. Okay. I dare to be different. Yeah, beanbag reading. Beanbag reading, and I'm super comfy, so, you know, I don't care. Right? All right, so Cancers, I love you guys. This reading is for the collective. It is not going to be for all of you, okay? Um, so just take what resonates and toss what doesn't. And I guarantee you probably the most entertaining part about this reading is going to be watching me get up from the beanbag chair. Haven't figured that part out yet, but we're going to wing it on that one too. Um, all right, so Cancers, I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the likes, uh, likes subscribes, comments, shares, donations. Um, across the board, man, you guys, you're my number one backers, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. I love you all so, so much. Thank you. You're my, you're my peeps, my soul tribe, right? Just the love. That's what I like the best, right? You guys show me, the, give me the hearts, you know, Belisi Maluna. Babe, you're always, you always got that heart for me. You know, it's little things like that, guys, that really helps the readers, okay? All right, so Cancer's got to have my glasses on. Don't like to wear them, but I have to when I'm reading, right? All right, oh, bottom of the deck. And you know I, I'm not taking the baby deck cards uh, in reverse, guys. Somebody's out there feeling very, very emotional. Um, ooh, they're about to come forward here, Cancer. Yeah, they want their wish fulfillment. Right? You guys know the 4th of July fireworks wish fulfillment, right? Um, yeah, so what we've got out here is, you know, hurricane winds and rain, right? Somebody's crying in, all up in their emotions. I feel like they're about to come forward. Now, this is going into um, uncharted territory, okay? They really are not, they don't know what to expect here, okay? Um... All they know is that hey, there's a feeling that they feel with you, Cancer, that they don't feel with anyone else. I get the feeling like this person may have tried um, for some of you to find a replacement, you know, Cancer, right? There is no replacement Cancer. Um, you've got this healing ability for this person that kind of wipes away their troubles or their stresses, something like that, right? This person's feeling depleted and they come to you you've got the glow and the color in your skin they come to you for that for that healing that they need so much okay can you guys see these I gotta work this out um so yeah this person wants to come forward you're their wish fulfillment man they um, they don't feel free for some reason I am gonna take this in reverse they don't feel they, like they need to be freed for, from something before they come towards you, but they have fallen in love with you, okay? They've fallen in love with you, Cancer. You are like the beacon of light in a very dark world for this person. Um, you know, we know that they've been watching you for a long time, right? Um, 
I feel like whatever it is that they're seeing or hearing from you, it's helping to guide this person through really a really dark time. They're with a karmic individual. This person could have even gotten engaged or married to this person. Um, they're in a toxic relationship and they watch you and you're like somehow guiding them through it. You're like the only bright spot in this person's world right now. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, and I even brushed my, I, I, I remembered to brush my hair before the reading, guys, this time. <sighs> Ooh, it says be careful here, Cancer. What is this all about, Divine? What is be careful? I think this person needs to be careful. They want to free themselves from something. Wishing they were free to come towards you. Um... They really want to come towards you. This is how they're feeling right now. I feel like they need to be very careful in this situation because the person that they're with is very toxic, maybe even volatile, unpredictable. Kind of like a darker. I feel like this person is... They have, to, they have to do things carefully here in this situation. How do they break free? I think they're mostly worried about this, whoever they're with, that karmic individual. The karmic. I don't know what else to call her. Him. It's not gender specific. But all they can do is think about you. I feel like they think, the feeling that I'm getting off of this is, with you being like a shining beacon of light for this person, right? I mean, let's put it together. And look, they want to give you a shout out. I'm telling you, they're bug eye panicked, right? With you being a beacon of light in a time of darkness for this person, okay? Um, and here you are like a divine, this is divine feminine energy here. Very magical, very divine, um, spiritual right very strong knowledgeable wise powerful right and here you are as a healer you know i'm getting the i'm getting the picture that this is the feeling i'm getting that this person wants to be freed from something a toxic relationship because they've fallen in love with you okay um, they need to be careful how to get out of that because the toxic individual that they're with is very volatile, unpredictable, I feel. And uh, they think that you're the only one who can help them. Does that make sense? That's the feeling that I'm getting. They think you're the only one who can help them through this. Maybe you're the only one who will understand. Maybe this person's been enlightened to their spiritual journey and they already know you're a bit ahead of them on the game. So maybe they know that you have some answers. Like I said, very wise energy, right? Um, they want to they wanna give you a shout out. They're kind of, they're panicked. They don't know how to get out of the situation. They know they need to be really careful. Um, yeah. You know what? I want to pull some tarot, guys. Go easy. <laughs> cancers, I love you. I love you. I love my Cancers. I'm going to do this more often, guys. All right, so you just flipped upside down in the deck. This person, they just can't stop thinking about you. I know we say it all the time, but it, that's really what's going on. Um, you're their empress. You're every queen in the deck. Um, you've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have is ten. You've worked really hard for all of these pentacles, but there's one pentacle missing. And that's that commitment. That certain special someone, <laughs> right? That's the that's um, from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, you're waiting for that certain special someone, the one who's gonna stick with you, the one who's gonna commit to you, the one who just wants you, the real one. Okay, <laughs> you're waiting for the real Slim Shady, and. Um, that will complete you, right? 
not that you're already complete all on your own. Uh, you're very happy being by yourself. You're building something solid all alone with the help of the divine. That's it. You're very single here. And you're happy. You're focused. You're healing. You're working on yourself. You're working on um, whatever it is that you're creating. Um, and you're trans you're, you've transformed. Um, so you're good on your own, Cancer, but you've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have is ten. There's one pentacle missing, and I feel like that's a real relationship, a loving, committed relationship. That's what that stands for to me. So, um, but other than that, you've got it all, baby. You've got it all. You've got the looks. You've got the pentacles. You've healed you've got you you're wise you you understand the journey by now because you know you don't get to the queen of this not queen of pentacles you don't get to the empress status right this is the empress in the minor arcana now you are an empress and you don't get there until you've been dragged through hell and come out stronger and that's what you did okay yeah Empress. Hmm. I keep picking these up upside down. What am I holding the deck upside down? I don't think so. There's this one, though, that's flipped. Hold on. This one's flipped upside down. Queen of Wands. Um, I feel like you're going to have other options coming towards you here. You've got a whole world of options. Like I said, um, I'm also feeling like because the new cycle has begun, you're focused on you. I feel like you're with every queen in the deck here um, and seeing that queen of wands, you're not wasting your time on anything, any kind of relationship who isn't going to give that isn't going to give back to you. Like I said, you are not wasting your time. You're building your abundance and, and bossing up, right, and having a glow up. And um, your, any relationship that you're going to have has to be that 10th pentacle, right? It has to be that 10th pentacle. You may have a lot of other options like swirling around you right now. There's a lot of people who want you, Cancer, um, because you're an empress, you know? Um, but that doesn't mean that they get to have you, right? That, that whoever you choose now has to be um, exactly what you want and need in a person. And I think you're going to hold off until you find that 10th pentacle, right? Someone who's going to give you the commitment that you deserve. Um, someone who's going to match you at your level of vibration, right? Because you're vibing really high here. Ooh, that one wants to come out. I'm taking it in reverse. Uh, my deck is not in reverse, guys, but these cards are coming out in reverse here. The moon in reverse. Um, you know, the moon is usually things that are hidden. I feel like you're just, uh, if any of these options are hiding anything from you with your intuition, number one, you're seeing, you're seeing through everybody. Um, and number two, um, secrets I feel like are about to come out but you know you are able to get your own clarity in this just by using your intuition I think this person's about to talk that's what I'm the feeling that I'm getting here is that they can't resist their empress okay and that they're about to come forward and communicate and all of, like Man, it's almost like you really didn't know what was going on. You grew, you bossed up, you did all this effort in yourself without having any any clarity, any answers in exactly what happened. You had to get all those answers on your own with your own intuition, Cancer. And you did a really awesome job. Pat yourself on the back, right? Because you did good. You got your own clarity. You listened to what the divine was telling you, too. They, they helped. Um, yeah, I'm just, this person though, they want to come in here. 
I really feel like they want to talk to you. Justice is coming. All of the anything that was hidden from you is about to be told. Okay. I mean, we keep saying it. I, it's not just me. It's a, it's a lot of readers are saying your person is coming back. They can't stop thinking about you. They want you. They're in love with you, but you don't know. And it's true. It's true. You know? Yeah, so get ready. Uh, you could be dealing with the Libra, a Pisces, another Cancer. Okay, so what else can you show me here? Divine. What do you guys think of the bean bag reading? Let me know. Drop a comment. I know it's kind of dark, but um, I really like it. Um, it's really geared more towards me this time. <laughs> Because I, I, I wanted to do something different. I want to expand. I want to grow. That means putting myself out there. And this is for me. It, it keeps me calm and um, I'm super comfy. Okay, I'm, I'm really, I'm so glad I got the beanbag chair. I'm really comfy in this spot. Could be dealing with the Virgo. Um, going within, I feel like they're going to come and shed the light on things for you, is what I'm feeling. With this lantern and the moon in reverse, I really feel like this person's going to come and talk. They're going to bring you the, the clarity that you need. It's going to help further set you free, I think. Um, yeah, from being trapped and stuck in your mind. I don't feel like that's coming... I don't feel like that's really your energy much anymore, but I feel like for those of you who are still feeling stuck and confused because you feel like you can't move on without this clarity, um, it's coming, okay? Yeah, possible king of wands here. I'm not taking all of those, though. It's just way too many. They came out in a clump. Yeah. There, I feel like this person's coming forward. You know, they could have um, two empresses here. I'm feeling like that's your energy, though. But I feel like this person is committed to someone else, but possibly this the empress in reverse. Which they are going to have to make a decision then, you know. Speak their truth. Feel like this person is, is trying to um, decide. This one wants to come out. You could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, King of Pentacles here. Um, this could be a boss, business owner. This person could be very trapped in their mind about this. Trying to figure out what exactly to do to get out of that toxic relationship and coming towards you. All right, what is this person's intentions? They're not really telling me much. I feel like right now this person is just kind of freaking out. What is this person's intentions for cancer? Well, with the Wheel of Fortune, this person, um, they need to come forward or not, right? They don't have much time left. It's the end of a new of an old cycle, a beginning to a new one. Okay, and I feel like um, this is movement. They've got to get moving on it, one way or another. This person doesn't have any more time left. I feel like you're pulling your energy back and leaving the scene, and this is really. Your energy isn't out here besides being single and working on yourself and your abundance. That's it. And being choosy um, about, you know, the, the last pentacle that you choose, right? For a commitment. Um, other than that, this is your person being very daydreamy about you. Um, I know we keep saying that they're constantly thinking about you, Cancer, but they are. Um, they are. All right. What else can you show me for Cancer? It, it seems fairly calm here, this energy. Like they are not quite reaching out. They're only daydreaming about you. 
um, and stressed. You, you know, they're stressing. All right, what else can you show me? King of Cups, yeah. This person, they've got so much love for you on the inside, but they, they haven't shown you, they haven't told you, you would have no way of knowing. Um, I feel like this person is getting ready to come forward and tell you how they feel about you. They're trying to, you know, stay grounded, stable. I feel like this person could have just been acting like just completely ignoring you. Like you would have no way of knowing that this person is going nutty right now. Yeah, they're with the Queen of Swords in reverse. That's why. That's why they're being really careful. I was wondering when she was going to show up. Um, yeah, that's why they're being so careful. This this is a very vindictive person. This is that karmic individual that they're with, right? They're very vindictive, very impulsive. Um, they act out of anger and hurt, and because uh, this is somebody who has been really hurt. All right, the Queen of Swords energy. She's been she's been freaking betrayed. You know. That sword that she's got in her hand, she pulled that sword out of her back herself. So she's she feels very betrayed by this person, this masculine, right? But she is PO'd here. Uh, very jealous, very vengeful. She's out for revenge. Bitter, um, volatile, a bit scary, really. I feel like your person is afraid of this person. They're afraid of who they're with. They're afraid of this person. They're trying to be really careful, and they're like, oh, my gosh, what did I get myself into? What did I do? I chose this? Yeah. So they have to be very careful because they don't want to bring this queen of swords to you, not their empress. You're living in peace right now. You're a very peaceful person, um, paying attention to your own stuff, right? But they're trying to, it's almost feels like, it almost feels like your person is trying to hold back this Queen of Swords from coming towards you. Um, because I, I keep getting that. It's like a protective, well, the protective kind of thing. This Queen of Swords, um, she's everything negative and nutty right now because this person is walking away look what is going on with my deck your person's walking away yeah and you're moving forward don't ask me guys i don't know what happened there but we're going to keep rolling everything happens for a reason yeah, so she's all upset because she knows this, that your person wants to walk away from her because she's she's has such a, a negative disposition, okay? Um, yeah, um, like she's really awful with her communication. She's really mean, right? She's just mean. She's mean. And your person wants to walk away. And not only that, but they, they, they're in love with you. But I, I feel like you're leaving the scene here. You're leaving the scene. I feel like you're dropping the burdens of this. I also feel like your person's very burdened about you leaving. Because what, you know, you're walking away holding your head up high. Um, being confident, strong, courageous. You have a handle um, over your own emotions, right? Um, you don't lash out. You're not bitter. <laughs> you're, you're like everything opposite that this Queen of Swords in reverse is. You're opposite of this. And this person can see it now. And they're like, what in the world have I done? Right? And I feel like you're just kind of, you're, you're, you're leaving the scene here. You're pulling your energy back. 
you want something real and this person has not given you that you know how bad do I look guys at least at least I brush my hair this time <laughs> it is what it is okay um yeah, with the star, you're, you're putting yourself out there. Um, public eye kind of stuff, right? You're a healer. You're, you could be a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, very, very intuitive. See that little star on your forehead there? That's your intuition. And with that, you lead, you guide other people. Remember that little dot? That's you, that guiding light. Um, I feel like you're a guide for other people and um, a lot of other people are watching you. This could be, like I said, in, in the public eye. Um, I feel like you're, you're keeping your moves hidden though. There's a lot about her that's in the shadows, right? So I, I feel like you're, um, everything about you is like you're keeping it all hidden. Um, but yeah, you're, you're a healer. This is that healing energy that they're so in love with. And I feel like if you're, whatever you're posting on Facebook or Twitter or what all the social media stuff, right? Whatever it is that you're posting out there, they're seeing it. Um, you're like a star for this person. This is also a wish. So I feel like you're this person's wish. And they're like, what have I done? You're it. You're the shiznit, Cancer. You're the shiznit. I feel like this person really just, they're watching you. They're watching you glow. They're watching you shine. They're watching you put yourself out there. Um, you're, you're beautiful. You bossed up. Empress energy, um... Nine of Pentacles energy and the Ten of Pentacles here. This person wants to be that one pentacle that gives you that ten. You know, they're, they're watching you be abundant. Watching, watching, watching. Watching, watching, watching. What did I say? It's staring at me on the bottom of the deck. Um... And they're in love with you. What did I say? This person's in love with you, Cancer. You don't know this. This is all hidden from you. Uh, they hid their feelings from you. They still are. Um, but I feel like it's not going to be for long. This person just doesn't know how to get to you. I'm feeling this protectiveness about them. They know that the karmic that they're with is kind of, you know loco but they want to reunite man i'm telling you your wish fulfillment i told you i told, I told you cancer your wish fulfillment yeah this person could be overindulging in alcohol maybe over the weekend but they want to reunite they're just trying to figure out how to get towards you because this um the karmic that they're with. Queen of Swords in reverse. Very volatile person. And they know what this person is capable of because they've been with them. Okay? So this person is like, how do I get out of this one and come to my Empress? What have I done? What have I gotten myself into, right? That's kind of, um, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting off of this. They have to be very careful because this Queen of Swords, she wants to come forward and cause problems. You know what I mean? And they don't want that to happen. Um, let's see what they want to say to you. Not the Queen of Swords, but your person, right? All right, so what do you guys think of the setup? Please drop a comment. Let me know. Please be kind. Right? Honestly, I, I hate um, putting myself out there in other locations, but in this location, for some reason, I feel fine. 
Um, I hope I still feel that way in reviewing the video, but... And, you know, honestly, like I said, the most entertaining part about this video is going to be watching me get up from this bean bay chair. But, uh, no one's perfect, right? All right, so... Oh. Cut the deck and we'll see what your person has to say about you, okay? Bottom of the deck. Don't believe what you see or hear because I am not okay. All right, so we've picked up on that before, that your person is kind of um, masking how they feel, right? Um, especially like on social media. This Queen of Swords too, she's doing everything that she can um, to hold on to your person. Uh, and they're all about public appearances, especially that Queen of Swords, right? So they're posting pictures. They, you may be hearing things about them getting engaged or getting married. You may be seeing things on um, social media. I highly suggest don't even look, okay? Because one, you're only getting a snippet of the information. And two... Don't believe what you see or hear because they are not okay. This person is not okay. Okay? <laughs> I love you guys. All right. Oh, this one wants to come out. Yeah. Because they're not okay. They're miserable. Uh, I've been miserable without you. They're miserable because they can't stop thinking about you and this connection. Um, yeah, and they can't sleep. I started having insomnia since we last spoke, right? Yeah, I have started having insomnia since we last spoke. So they can't sleep. Uh, very emotional. This is the first card that we started with, and I kind of forgot about it until now, but... This person's sad, distraught. They're, they're miserable without you. They are not okay. Yeah, I feel like you're all right, Cancer. I do, because you are, um, you're focused, right? You're focused. And you're working on yourself. Um, and you're glow up, and you're strong, and you're beautiful. Um, putting the love that you would have given to this person into yourself, right? All right, one more for Cancer. Can't wait to see what you guys think about this video. And she's got a bean bait chair. Oh, I don't care. I'm really comfy. Um, oh, I don't know why I did that. Let me just try it again. One more for cancer. Thank you. They gave me a couple. I'm set in my ways. Um, the sadness I feel for you is something I've never experienced before. I feel like they're set in their ways. Like this person's trying all, or they tried, they tried all that they could to have a success with this car with the karmic relationship with the karmic relationship i feel like this is a person who really does want to try but they chose the wrong person okay um you know no matter no matter what you do you you know it all depends on your choices i guess you, you can put all of your efforts into something, but if it's not the right person for you, then it's probably not going to be a success. Um, but I, I feel like this is a person who does really want to put forth the effort. They just picked the wrong one, and now they want to come back to you. They want to reunite. They're in love with you. They've been watching you like a hawk because you, quite frankly, you've been helping to lead this person somehow um, because of your healing abilities. And honestly, they are not okay. They are not okay. Um, they're miserable. And they're all up in their emotions this weekend, Cancer. Thinking about this new beginning in love with you 
and how you're leaving the scene. Some of you could even be making a house move. Any who cancers, um, I hope you like the bean bag reading, right? I think um, I think we're gonna have to do more of them. Still kind of sitting here wondering how I'm gonna get out of the bean bag chair. Um, hmm. All right, I'm just gonna count to three and we'll do it, right? Um, Any who cancers, if you like this video. Please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, guys. I mean, apparently, if I can't get out of a beanbag chair, I'm harmless, okay? Um, <laughs> so anyway, Cancers, know that I love you, my darlings, okay? Take care of you, and peace out. Ah, I did it.